Hey there, people of the internet! My name is Savannah, and welcome to my studio. Before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone. My last video kind of blew up and got me like 40 new subscribers, which is crazy and amazing. So I just decided to keep rolling with this D&D thing. Uh, did you, do you, um, do you see what I did there? Anyway, so today's video is going to be a character coloring, but more D&D scenes and story time will be coming soon. Now let's just get into the drawing. As mentioned in the previous video, I have several campaigns going on right now, and it's awesome. So here's my character, Magpie, from the campaign with Krista as Cora Tinal. And I only recorded the coloring for some reason, I guess I didn't think about making her into a full video at all, because sometimes I just draw for fun and forget that I can make content out of it. Anywho, this is Magpie, or THE Magpie, a well-known detective who specializes in paranormal cases. She is also a custom Bloodborne Hunter class, because our DM Francis said this was going to be uh, a spooky, kind of cosmic horror campaign, and I immediately thought of Bloodborne. And for anyone who doesn't know, or understand why, Bloodborne is an eldritch horror action RPG that deals with old gods and has a lot of Lovecraftian influence. So the story of Magpie is currently shrouded in mystery, because I wanted to keep it a secret from my fellow players, so I can't give too much away. But I can tell you that Magpie is not her real name, her real name is secret from everybody except the DM, just to keep her family safe because she is pretty well known for, you know, being a detective and helping the authorities uh, crack cases that are both paranormal and not, so she doesn't want any backlash to go back to her family. And you may be wondering about this creepy doll. Well, don't. It's not important. In fact, it's not even there. I wanted to get Magpie's personality across in her facial expression, so she's really practical, dark and edgy, and paranoid. You know, dark circles under her eyes. Um, like an old-timey, hard-boiled detective. Which is the exact opposite of Krista's character, and it's just so funny when they interact. This is the most innocent thing my hand has done in years. As for the current story, the five of us, Magpie, Cora, Woogs the Changeling Druid, Beryl the Prostitute Bard, and Alexi the Tiefling Paladin make up a crew for the Atlas Corporation. Atlas is a shipping company that transports from realm to realm through the Astral Sea, doing various things like transporting passengers, cargo, doing rescue missions, and so on. And while docked on the city of Cloudstone for a bit of R&R, &R, we got a mission to rescue some missing miners from a mine, and found some very creepy and weird ritual things going on down there involving animated severed hands, a talking skeleton horse, and a Resident Evil-style mansion deep, deep underground. It has been pretty spooky, and I love the mystery aspect. One, because it's cool, and two, because my character is literally a detective, and it's just perfect, and I love it. And if you would like to hear more about all of these crazy stories with all of my parties, please let me know. I'm going to be doing a full party drawing probably sometime in the future. I, I don't know how long. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys would like. I still have plans to continue Fee's story with Isaiah and Varys, so don't worry. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and like Magpie. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already, and let me know your thoughts on all things D&D. As always, take care and I'll see you in the next one.